Alright, hey viewers, this is Watch Me SC bringing you another commentary. And um, here we go, we have Cho'Gath versus Tristana. And uh, Doran's ring and a mana potion on Cho'Gath. Uh, Cho'Gath has, uh, I believe, heal and ignite. And uh, Tristana has teleport and ignite. Let's see what she's got for items. And I can't see. I can't see Bob Fatty, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to talk about what he's got. Oh, and Doran's shield and um, health potion. So I don't think this is going to go super well for Cho'Gath here, um, considering Tristana is ranged, and it's only going to get... It's only going to be longer after this. The range is only going to increase. So... I don't think that's going to fare too well. Looks like I got a text message. And Ignite went off there on Tristana. Looks like he's just trying to throw down some damage early and uh, use his Ignite's cooldown um, to get extra damage in and use it kind of as like a ranged attack that comes up every two minutes. Um, I don't think it's the smartest idea, but it is a decent amount of damage. And uh, he'll be able to put some harass on. And he does have the minions basically to... Um, auto attack Bob Fatty if he tries to go in for some damage like on um like he's been doing kind of but now it looks like the range champion is um basically persevering here and uh going to be putting some damage on the creep tower damage is going to be coming soon hasn't come yet but it's bound to come eventually looks like he upgraded for level 2 to get um what's it called the spikes that penetrate and Bob Fatty now has explosive shot. I don't think he had that first round. Not too sure. Gets one shot off there. Right outside the range of the turret. Wonder if he's going to go for another. Looks like he's only going for creep there. And he snuck in and out in between the tower firing. That's one thing uh, you can do if you are uh, if you know the timing well. Is uh, in between the turret firing, it takes a second to refocus and retarget the champion so you can definitely get some shots in like that uh, Bob Fatty's damage keeps adding up here and um, yeah it doesn't look like uh, Hydra is going to be able to do that much right now until he has to go back because he doesn't have any health like items I mean he's got the health potion he's got the mana potion so he doesn't even have a health potion so um, sorry about that so yeah, he's definitely in a little bit of uh, trouble. He does have heal, though. Wonder if Bob Fatty remembers that. His ignite should be back up soon, too. So that'll allow him to get a little bit more damage, but it's not going to be anything crazy. And Bob Fatty is just standing in the pressure zone. Basically able to uh, pressure Cho'Gath here. Without any any repercussions that can really happen. I'm sure he's got rocket jump, so if he needs to, he'll be able to escape. Taking a couple of damage. A couple of shots there from the big creep and a couple of the range creeps. And here they go again, switching. Bob Fatty doesn't look like he's getting that many last hits here, uh, which is kind of surprising. I've seen him hit a couple of creep there, but not... Excuse me, doesn't seem to be getting that many last hits. But um, in terms of health, let's see. Oh, I was active. 600 versus 500, so eh, not that big of a difference. But again, that those damaging shots add up, and every time he goes up there to get a shot on the creep, he's taking a shot from Tristana. And now, let's see, looks like he might be uh, a little bit of dancing going around. And pushes Bob Fatty back there into the... Oh, doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it. He pops his heel. Bob Fatty's going for it. Oh, wow. Is he going to get it? That's it. That is round one, viewers. I'll see you guys next round. All right. Hey, viewers. This is Watch Me SC, and I am continuing the second round coverage. Uh, Apocalypse Hydra versus Bob Fatty. This time we have Zelan versus Janna over here somewhere. 
Um, looks like we got a Doran's Ring. He has the same two spells, Heal and Ignite. Bob Fatty is rocking Teleport and Ignite. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm probably going to link these two videos together and just post them as one. Um, but I'm not sure. I might not. So we shall see how this works. And I'm doing this matchup in advance because uh, Apocalypse has some stuff to do. So if he ends up winning, um, this will have benefited him so he can participate in the third round. So we have a Mechie Pendant and two Potions here. And I'll minimize this to get some better coverage. So I think Zelayan here could be a slightly annoying champion. I don't know why he hasn't placed a bomb. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Bob Fatty drops the shield to counteract that, which is a good move. Um, the shield doesn't scale, I don't think, as well as the... Um, ouch, that was a beastie hit there. The increased damage from the shield basically gives him... Um, a good way to harass here, and if he pops a shield, he might be able to... Yeah, he's going to deal a lot of damage here. Oh, wow. Woo! Damn, Bob Fatty almost took that one in the ass right there. Um, they changed it recently, so the shield... Um, oh, God, this is going to be so close. But the bomb's not going to go off before the attack from Bob Fatty, so this could be... Uh-oh, the tornado's coming through. Is it going to hit? Is it going to hit? Woo! Apocalypse Hydra is playing it really risky here. It's only been like 30 seconds and there's already some crazy stuff going on. And it doesn't look like it's going super good here for Apocalypse Hydra. Bob Fatty's about to get some damage on the tower. <coughs> damage is adding up. Looks like he's at about a fifth damage right now. Taking it down some more. He's at about a quarter damage. Damage is adding up. He's at almost half the tower damage already. And uh, this might be a quick one. The damage on the tower is building up. Look at that. It's already at half-life. Creep's still piling up. Bob Fatty definitely might be able to get this. Where's Zelayan? Where is he? He's coming now, but it's not going to be quick enough. <clears throat> Bob Fatty's already two levels higher, and this is just pretty much not going to be good for Apocalypse Hydra here, and it looks like it's about to be game over in like 5-10 seconds. Uh, whether or not the tower goes down, um, there's not much Apocalypse Hydra can do here, considering he's two levels lower facing an opponent with a shield that's going to absorb more damage than his bomb does. So that was a good burst of uh, fast talking there. And Apocalypse Hydra is taking a little bit of damage. Gets hit with the slow so he can't double bomb. But he does get to push Janna back a little bit there. However, even if Janna goes back, she has teleport. So she's going to be able to make it back really quick. But she's still got her, um, her mana potion she just popped. Let's see if Apocalypse got a different item. Nope. He did not. Tornado looks like it's about to be coming in. Going for the creep only there. Doesn't look like Bob Fatty's really, uh, he doesn't really need to get a kill on Apocalypse Hydra here. He only needs to get, what, 100 more damage on the tower? 130 more damage on the tower, so. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be, um, I don't think it's going to be turning out well. Now Apocalypse is taking heavy damage from that big, the big minion, which deals a fair amount of damage at low levels. And, um, yeah, this, Bob Fatty's probably going back right now to get a couple of items and fill up on he uh, hit points and mana, but I don't know. I just don't think Apocalypse Hydra's got it right now. He played a little bit too aggressive early on and let Janna get a lot of damage on him, and um, that basically set the pace for the entire game. So let's see. Looks like he got the Chalice, and now he's going to have basically infinite mana here to... Um, do whatever he wants, pretty much, to Apocalypse Hydra. Damage building up. Damage building up. Almost there. Yeah, Apocalypse knows he's got to do something, but there's not really much he can do. He's going to get outranged by Janna, and Tower's going to go down now, no matter what. No matter what. Here it is. Here's the GG. All right. Looks like Bob Fetty is progressing on to round three. I will see you guys on some uh, first round coverage. Good luck, guys.